Hello and welcome to ET Auto. We are in conversation with Dr. Raghupati Singhania, Chairman and Managing Director of Tire Major JK Tire. Dr. Singhania, thanks for sparing your time. Uh, to start off with the current scenario, uh, we have just, uh, if you look at the passenger vehicle segment, uh, we have just crossed a very, very successful a record festive season, if you like. And uh, commercial vehicles, the way they are going currently. Uh, what's uh, what's, this, uh, what's the outlook for the industry uh, that you see uh, for in the, the fiscal that's going to end in the next three months or so and the one after that? Thank you very much. It's a pleasure always to be talking to you. No, the uh, tire industry and the auto industry are doing well at the moment, as particularly the passenger car segment. In fact, they, in the last couple of months, you might have seen that they've been talking about record sales in the, over the years. And so basically they are doing well and even the prospect for the future coming sometime is a positive, good positive factor. We're talking about high single digit growths there. And uh, the likewise in the commercial vehicle, also there is good growth, mm. but not as high as the passenger right. car. Because commercial vehicles are so much driven by the economic activity and mm. as a country we are doing well on the economic front. And even the, all the forecasts being suggested right from Reserve Bank Governor to IMF and so on, are talking quite bullishly about the economic activity. The upward revision of the GDP absolute, forecast is absolute. good so news. Therefore, the commercial vehicle segment should be driven by that to an extent and they should do well. So we are seeing as an industry, tire industry, good growth uh, traction in the coming times as well. And even this year, which is just going off in March. Uh, is what kind of growth do you expect for the tire industry? We are seeing in the passenger car about 7 to 8% growth. In the CV, it may be a little lower, 5 to 6% growth. But uh, the growth is for sure there. But th there is also a viewpoint that after this such a scorching uh, pace of growth in passenger vehicles, it's perhaps the industry may see some cooling off in terms of growth rates. You see, again, it's a question of the base. We are talking these numbers vis-a-vis -vis last year. So last year, base was not all that high. Therefore, still these figures may stand out and may prove to be right. Had it been now, if you talk next year, then perhaps this factor anomaly will crop up. Right. There's already a high base, then you talk about a higher percentile. So perhaps uh, these percentages, after all these statistics, may still prevail, I would guess. And uh, because basically there's a reasonable demand and uh, the, as we read from uh, your presses and otherwise, the spending power, particularly for the haves, mm. is improving more. And that is a very interesting phenomena taking shape in the country. And this is true not only for cars, but the entire gambit of the consumer goods. But now let us come back to the auto industry. Okay. So demand appears to be good, for sure. Right. Uh, now, uh, what's the road ahead for JK Tire? I mean, it has established, especially in truck radials, commercial vehicle radials, you have really established yourself very strongly. Uh, in passenger cars, you are among the you know, uh, key players. And in terms of this, in the sustainable growth strategy, and with this electrification mega trend, uh, how do you kind of you know, uh, see uh, JK Tire kind of progressing you know, uh, in terms of uh, maybe perhaps getting into some new areas as well? Couple of uh, things. One is as far as the, let's talk about sector wise. In commercial tires, we are in the radials, we are the market leaders and we propose to maintain our leadership. And uh, in the process, we have started offering number of value-added propositions to the customer in terms of extra high mileage product, extra fuel efficient product, and so on, in truck radial, which is gaining, uh, qu uh, gaining quite a bit of momentum. So I think that will become popular and we'll be able to participate in it well. Even in the car sector, it is ultimately differentiated product offering, which is helping us to dif get the market and market. Which is what I was coming to. How, how do you plan to kind of further differentiate JK Tire in, in the spaces that it operates in? Which of, are the pillars you would look at? A couple, a very, very important point indeed. One is of course the differentiated product like the puncture guard tire, or we have the smart tire. And then we have launched the ultra high performance Levitas tire recently. That's one bit. The other bit is that we were low in quantity terms in high 
rim sizes. Our production was low because we had less capability for those. So there is a good traction there as far as we are concerned. We have enough headroom. Others have matured faster than us. For they had more cap capability in that equipment. We have undertaken certain expansions so that will make us more capable of offering larger rim size tires in larger numbers. So that gives us a tremendous headroom and therefore that is also our gateway to increasing market presence. Let's put it this way. So that's one of the important areas we are looking into. And uh, is total volumes are also uh, will grow with our expansion in place. So when you say big rim size, primarily you mean the luxury vehicles and all those? No, no, higher SUV sizes, SUV because sizes. you see for instance, earlier till yesterday we were talking up to 16 inch was a normal big size. Today we are going up to 21 inches or so on in mm -hmm. some of the vehicles and mm -hmm. SUVs. So in fact we have capability but we don't have enough capability. Right. So we did not have rather. Now right. we are putting in place that capability. So that will give us a quite, a, quite a quantum jump in, the, in that right. sphere and therefore the overall, overall performance. Do you also see a space or an opportunity for you to add another brand? Because that's what we have seen some of the, your industry peers doing, either mainly through some inorganic move uh, overseas and then kind of trying to, you know, uh, introducing the brand in India also to kind of have that kind of premium positioning especially for let's say you know uh, high-end cars and things like that. We will see we have a brand but we will see whether tactically how wise it is and when to make that move hmm. for sure uh, that is certainly one of the options that we could uh, rely upon. Coming to the uh, EV tires you talked about hmm. I might uh, mention that in the commercial category, particularly in the bus sector, we have perhaps the largest presence in among the tire companies. Most of the EV buses being launched, particularly in Delhi, are all on JK tires, 90% of them. Even in cities like Bombay and Bangalore, the large number of buses are on our tires. So we have been uh, a big player in the EV buses segment. In the two-wheeler EVs, we are supplying to eight to nine OEMs. Uh, two-wheeler manufacturers. In the car sector, the going is very slow, of course, as we know, number of vehicles mm -hmm. in EV are less, but we are capable. We have produced tires, we have tires, we are selling those in the replacement market. So in terms of the capability, both technologically and otherwise, we are fully geared up to make EV tires. For As the market evolves, we will be happy to supply. Are you eyeing the number one position for uh, as an EV tire maker? Well, it is a very uh, difficult uh, uh, to even assess who is number one because this is such an evolving market mm -hmm. that we don't even know what is the size of the market. Let's be honest, it's, it's still evolving. So it will be unfair to suggest number one or two, but mm -hmm. certainly one of the lead players for sure. Right. And you know, uh, increasingly <clears throat> uh, the transportation industry, which is again one of the emitters of you know, CO2 and considering that the uh, global environmental challenge that we are uh, facing uh, as a global family, uh, the uh, automotive industry is, you know, is expected to well, again contribute towards tackling this cha challenge in and within that the tire industry because a lot of carbon uh, sure. uh, the footprint it has so uh, could you throw some light on what are the key uh, steps that you're taking to ensure that you, know, you reduce uh, the carbon footprint and kind of maybe shift to a more environment friendly processes and materials that is a very good point because it's very dear to me what you're speaking we call ourselves a green tire company we have uh, done a whole lot of work in sustainability in ESG. In fact, in India, the, for the second year consecutively, our ESG rating is the number one in the peer, amongst the peers in India, and the highest ESG rating. So that's the kind of work we are doing. Whether it is uh, biofuels in our boilers instead of coal, more and more percentage. Renewable energy, we are nearly 58% in our, across our company. And likewise, with the green usage of green material, I might mention that we have developed a green tire, what we call UX green, okay. which is made out of 80% sustainable biodegradable material, sustainable okay. material, 80%, oh, is it? which is perhaps one of the few, very few in the world, if I may. And this is not a concept tire alone. It is a working model. So it's on sale now? It is not on sale. It is under evaluation. It mm. is an already more than 35,000 kilometers on the road. It will take time to ev evaluate and then commercialize. How long could be the timeline for it? It will be some time. It is not because but you is know it for cars or? It is for essentially cars. Okay. So we are working 
and we are very committed to reduce our CO2 emissions. Mm. So we are working very diligently mm. on this front. And as I just mentioned, including developing a green tire. Uh, have you set as a, yourself a target to go carbon neutral, like most uh, leading, most organizations are? We, we have set ourselves that <coughs> 950 we will be able to reduce substantially. 2050. Yeah. Okay. And uh, last time when we met, which was uh, some time back, said that you were looking at a <coughs> cumulative investment of about 16, 80 crores odd or so. Uh, uh, we, last time we met, I think it was 1100 crores, if I remember correct, because mm. that was the mm. approval by our board then. Mm and which is most of it is now being fulfilled and the last bit will be completed by March 24. Right. In the meantime, another 1100 crores of investment has been sanctioned by our board, which we are just taking up. Mm. And even that will be completed by March 25, okay. the second part. Mm. So that will, in fact, this is what I was referring to earlier, mm. building up more capabilities. I see. Yeah. Okay. So this will be what, a capacity enhancement? Basically capacity Basically. enhancement. Okay. And qualitative capacity enhancement, if you like. Right. Dr. Singhana, you have seen the automobile industry's transition over the decades. I mean, just the other day, uh, the uh, car which put India on wheels, in, as it is referred to, the Maruti 800 you know, yes, completed 40th, 40th uh, yeah. anniversary of its launch. So uh, if you look at the next decade or so, the, the, the kind of disruptive age that we are in, where do you see the automotive industry, especially in India? Well, I wouldn't be surprised I mean, if we follow the world trend, which is air taxis. The world is uh, seeing or is, and more being commercialized. Gradually, I believe even in UAE, they are planning to introduce air taxis. So that would be one of the ways forward for the auto, I mean, if you like, communication or transportation the mobility industry. industry. The mobility industry to move, particularly in the car range. I'm not talking about the buses and so on not mass transit, but mm. individual transit. So maybe in India, because we are not behind anybody, if you notice, in terms of our technological leap, right. and particularly when, they, for instance, we talk of digitalization, we are number one in the world in a way. Mm -hmm. We are the leaders. If you look at the number of digitalized tools we are using, be it banking, be it this, that, or the other, it's extraordinary. I mean, compared to our uh, economy, size and economy ranking, so I wouldn't be surprised if we take a leapfrog and get into that era. And if that happens, it would be quite interesting. But that may be not so good news for JK Tire, right? Because mm -hmm. it won't need tires. Well, it will depend on what uh, evolves. Even that, uh, those vehicles will have to use some point, contact point with contact, the ground. Yes. And the contact point is a tire, uh, yes. whatever shape, size, yes. and oh. material it may be exactly. consisting of. That's what tires are. No? Yes, they put, absolutely. Uh, no, they're the single point of contact. Absolutely. No? Uh, Made between the vehicle, vehicle and the road. And the road. Yeah. Always a pleasure talking to you, Dr. Singhania. Thank, Thank, Thank you very much. And wishing you and your team all the very, all the very best, best. Thank you. on behalf of PT Thank Auto. You. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this uh, very interesting conversation with uh, Dr. Singhania. Don't get to talk to him too often, but whenever I do, it's always an interesting conversation. On that note, thank you for watching this interview. Take care and goodbye.